I always wanted to have that cinema look in my videos but I know something was lacking behind focusing on good storyline investing on high end cameras and lenses but still I was missing something to achieve that film look the term cinema was too far away from me I have literally tried out everything in color grading panel to achieve film look but still some major thing was missing you can say the major in green was missing until i found this and you know what i was missing the right tool at the right time and here is that tool the dehenso plugin a tool that helps to achieve a cinema look you can add that film grain effect the bloom effect and the halation the all you need to create that cinema magic i have created a few clips of mine by using the dehenso plugin to achieve that cinema look and these clips are shot at different places you can see there is a you like me too we can take it so make sure we do this right can so all my plans to be with you tonight tonight so just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning, building chemistry. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. For me, for me, it seems that you're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just. Guys, I hope you liked the video, especially that one minute part, which was created with the Dehenser plugin. Right now, I will show you like how you can do the same thing to achieve the cinema look while using the Dehenser plugin. So let's jump in the tutorial first. This is my grading panel and here I'm searching for the Dehenser Pro which I've already downloaded. So what you need to do is you need to just drag and drop to the clip where you need to grade and in the left side you will get the panel for the Dehenser Pro. And there we have an input tab where we can select uh, like in which camera it is shot on. Uh, I've shot this clip on Sony A7S III. So I'll be using that predefined uh, preset you can say. So it will convert my log footage into the Rec. 709. and then after you can uh, change the exposure composition and the temperature and all and guys one more thing by default uh, the film green is already enabled so you can uncheck it uh, like uh, for the time being you can uncheck it and you can uh, work on your great part and in the end you can apply it so the next step is uh, the film selecting the film profile so dehenser offers various film profiles so you can choose according to your need So what I believe is right now Kodak Vision 3250D is perfect for me according to the lighting and situation. And here also you can select your push or pull the EV as per your need. And in the film developer part, you can play with the contrast, gamma correction, color separation, and color boost. So let's add some contrast here. And gamma, I believe uh, this much of gamma is fine, around minus four, around minus 3.4. and then for the color boost uh, let's make it little saturated yeah this much is fine then we have a panel for the film compression so what it usually do it uh, maintains your highlights so as you can see in the screen and after that let's uh, go to the print panel here you can select the profile which you want to use so i personally like kodak indura glossy paper so it gives that a little saturated and contrasty look but you can also change it according to your preference and guys this is the color head where you can play with your highlight shadows and with tones color so i want it little uh, yellowish type so i am just adding a little tincture of yellow in it and making it little greenish so that it looks perfect according to the lighting situation and yeah let's add some red in it i believe this much is fine so 
so as you can see the before and after it's looking very great but still we have to add some more thing to make it look more cinematic or what you can say filming so here we will enable the film grain here and as you can see this green is quite good but still some changes are there so i usually choose the film type as positive instead of negative and the green size i choose it somewhere around 7 so it looks some natural green and you can see the footage and then guys we are having this halation effect so what it will do is it will add some yellowish tone towards your yellow part as you can see so if i amplify the thing you can this thing can be much clearer to you and let's add the bloom effect so it will diffuse the whites and it will make it little dreamy as you can see so we can see it right now amplify effect i am keeping it somewhere around 89 and 90 and diffusion somewhere around 100 so as you can see uh, the effect on the right panel it looks dreamy as well as the perfect greens are there so let me render it out first and then we can see like how it looks so this is how i color graded everything using the dehancer plugin no lumetri panel used for this color grade you can also see the before and after effect uh, like how it looks when it was in log and how the final grade comes out I hope you like the video and this is all about like how to edit in Dehancer and how to get the film look. One more thing which I need to add is like Dehancer has also launched their phone app, phone mobile app so you can edit the same thing in your mobile phones. So right now I am using the iOS so I do have the iOS app for it so it is also available for the Android apps too. So you will get the same thing like if you need to add so I have just exported my one clip here and here you can see if you click on the edit button you have you are having the same presets like how you can do it so let's check it out with here the developer part here you can select your color separation color boost gamma correction contrast boost everything like it's uh, you can see it's the same as the one which you are having in your pc as well as in your mac so this is all about this i hope you like the video and signing off thank you